So I just watched the found footage film called Crow's Nest. It is about a group of friends who decide to go on a little road trip. So three girls, two guys. And it basically comprises of the first hour of just really annoying banter between the characters to fill up time for an hour. Um, they're not very endearing. They're not very likable. Uh, just one of the usual found footage tropes to pad out the time. And eventually they run afoul of a large trailer and one of their friends ends up getting injured, possibly dying. So they try to find help and they keep getting chased by this huge trailer. It's basically a ripoff of like Joyride or Duel or Jeepers Creepers, the van, honking the loud, the loud horn. And it really takes a long time to get going. Things finally start to get interesting. Like an hour in, and then there's only 25 minutes left. 20, 25 minutes. It's a very short movie. But it's a huge slog to get through to when things finally start getting interesting. And the characters make a ton of really stupid decisions. And I understand, you know, it's a found footage horror movie. People in horror movies are going to do dumb shit. But this was just like over the top, like screaming when the killers are around. Um, or trying to race the trailer with your little beat up shitty car or stopping to call for help, just stupid shit like that. And they even ripped off some scenes from like the Blair Witch Project. And I just couldn't get into it. I didn't like the characters. I thought the dialogue was really bad. Uh, the way it was directed was fine. It was pretty decent as far as found footage movies go. But it just, the script was just pretty bad. It was like a mashup ripoff of Jeepers Creepers, The Blair Witch Project, The Hills Have Eyes, uh, movies like that. But you've seen them before and they've been better. So, regrettably, I gotta give this one a pass, unless you're really into found footage type movies. I didn't really like it much, even though it it finally started to get interesting for the first half, and then it was over in like five or ten minutes. And I see there's an entry on IMDb for Crow's Nest 2. I don't know if that's legit or not. Um... Hopefully, if they do make a sequel, maybe they can can improve upon uh, the issues from this first movie. And I don't mean that to be nasty. Uh, found footage is a hard genre to do correctly. Horror is a tough genre to do correctly. Uh, and, you know, they did the best they could do. I just feel like the script could have been better. The directing and cinematography and all that was fine. It's just, I didn't connect with the characters, man. And we're supposed to be rooting for them for, you know, 80 odd minutes. And I didn't give a shit about them. I thought they were stupid. And they made really shitty, stupid decisions. And I feel bad um, saying that because I know, you know, people work really hard on these kinds of movies, you know, they went out there 
They said, fuck it, we're going to film a found footage movie and we're going to do it and put it out there. So I give them points for that. I definitely feel like it could have been better script wise. So maybe you guys will enjoy it more than I did. Crow's Nest. I watched it on Plex and I hope you guys enjoy it more than I do. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.